I went to a workshop, an HCI workshop, the weekend before my interview at uh, Georgia Tech, and Mark Guzdow was a first-year faculty member in the College of Computing, and he was at this workshop, and he kind of took me to the side, and we went cross-country skiing, and he talked to me about what it might be like to be at Georgia Tech, and so I, I already felt kind of, you know, comfortable. And uh, I, I remember Jim Foley being so uh, gracious during my visit and uh, taking me to the side after the end of my second day of my uh, interview. And he said, uh, I think you'd better start thinking about packing and moving to Atlanta. I said, oh, OK, that's quick. Uh, um, and Peter Freeman was fantastic with uh, uh, my wife and I. Uh, we came down for a second visit. And he came and picked us up at the airport and uh, took us out to, to dinner and uh, did a lot to help her find a position as well. So I said, oh, here's a place that you know, doesn't just want good research to be done. They care about the people, and they care about making people happy and, and make you feel wanted. So I said, I, I, I want to be in a place like that. I got very much inspired by the work of Mark Weiser, but I had always been inspired by kind of computing visionaries, Alan Kay, uh, uh, J.C.R. Licklider, Doug Engelbart, uh, Ivan Sutherland, all the, the work that those people did always really impressed me that they showed a vision of what computing might be like in the future. And a lot of my work up to that point was trying to wrap a nice bow and cr create a beautiful formalism about something from the past. I said, well, let's, you know, why don't you go after the, the thing that you've always you know, found interesting in other people, try to do that yourself. And, and the culture at Georgia Tech I noticed was you know very much a, a creative hacker kind of mentality so creating the future computing environments effort which was the original name of the ubicom uh, um, group that was the thing i think that had the biggest impact because it wasn't just about me it was about a collection of people wanting to you know invent the future by building it and my time at georgia tech was to be a good mentor and be someone who um, could help others reach their goals and it, to some extent help others realize that they're better than they think they are and get them to have accomplishments that are beyond what they thought they could have done. I, I, I've become blessed in being able to see that kind of progress with the, the students I've worked with. Well, if someone were to ask me, and I, anyone who knows me knows this is a, a classic response I give, what am I most proud of? at Georgia Tech and it's my PhD students that I've graduated and even you know master's students who've gone on to successful careers in undergrads it's it's the students that I've worked not so much ones that I've taught in class that's great uh, but it's the ones I've had research relationships with where I was a, a, an advisor or co-advisor with and uh, that, that's the the, the greatest accomplishment and I have so many fond memories of those students doing things for me to celebrate things in my life, accomplishments, promotions, uh, awards and things, and the amount that they've given back to me is uh, way more than I think I ever gave to them. So th that's just been wonderful.